Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 20 of Matthew chapter 20. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to Jesus with her sons, bowing down and making a request of him. And he said to her, What do you wish? She said to him, Command that in your kingdom these two sons of mine may sit, one on your right and one on your left. But Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, My cup you shall drink, but to sit on my right and on my left, this is not mine to give but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. And hearing this, the ten became indignant with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to himself and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great men exercise authority over them. It is not this way among you, but whoever wishes to become great among you shall be your servant." And whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. There is a great contrast between the world's value system and the Lord's. The danger for those of us who are believers is that we can easily slip into the culture's way of thinking without realizing that our perspective is out of line with God's. This is vividly illustrated in the request of James and John's mother. She wanted greatness and honor for her sons, but sought it in a manner contrary to the Lord's ways, which caused discord among the disciples. Self-promotion isn't the way to generate esteem or harmony with others. Jesus' life illustrates the exact opposite. He didn't come to be served, but to serve and give up His life to ransom any lost sinner who trusts in Him. As Christians, we are to emulate Jesus' submission to the Heavenly Father and His Spirit of servanthood. Whether in ministry or secular employment, we must consider ourselves as servants and our work as being under the Lord's authority. This means we are to humble ourselves and submit to those who are in charge, valuing them and even overlooking bothersome character traits or habits. We are to serve them as if we're serving Christ Himself. We may never be applauded for our work here on earth, but our reward is in heaven.